Steve Douglas, Dodgers Lowdown, and I'm here with the manager of the Quakes, Drew Saylor. Drew, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Oh, doing great. Thank you for having me. We appreciate the time, Coach. Uh, game time is approaching. Talk about two and four record. Hitching has been there. Hitting's a little slow to come along. What's the mood of the guys? Well, I think the mood of the guys is, uh, you know, still very optimistic, still very positive. You know, I think that one of the challenges we've had as a staff is to be able to make sure that our guys are ready and prepared every single day. Uh, I know that our first four games up in Stockton wasn't necessarily the prototypical opening day. You know, have your opening day rained out. Next day you play two, then you play one, then a day game. You know, I think that from a rhythm standpoint, sometimes it's a little bit tough to get your footing. But the thing that's been really exciting, and we've talked about it as a staff, um, is just the energy and the effort level. And, you know, really from our perspective, if we can get that on a day-to-day -day basis, the record in and of itself will, will be where it's supposed to be at at the end of the year. Sure. Very early, very early. You mentioned the effort definitely there. And uh, you also mentioned the opening day, a little bit of a weird situation. Have you ever been a part of a no-hitter? Obviously not with the Quakes, because that was the first in 25-year uh, history. Uh, ha have you ever been a part of one? Yes, I actually had one when I managed in Pasco, Washington with the Tri-City Dust Devils. We actually had a 980 no-hitter with four different pitchers. So, yeah, so I think in my six-year career with this being number two, I think I'm on a pretty good roll right now. I need to do more uh, research, Coach. I should have known that about you. I'm just kidding. Uh, now, talk about uh, Mitch White. And he's going tonight. Talk about, for fans who, who aren't familiar with his game, kind of fill them in. Oh, wow. Um, how much time do we have? I think, um, you know, when it comes to Mitch White, I think obviously the physical attributes jump off the page. You know, you know, guys, you know, electric fastball, real good feel for his off-speed pitches. You know, really just the demeanor is tremendous. I mean, bulldog, you know, type of mentality. I know that we already have a guy that was named Bulldog. Uh, maybe Oral can sit there and hand down uh, that title to Mitch one day. Um, but like I said, I've been kind of describing him as this. If you're playing MLB 2017, you were just to, you know, develop a player and from a physical standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, grit, hardworking, the guy you'd create would be Mitchell White. And I think that, again, I don't have enough time and enough adjectives to really say um, the type of person he is, uh, the type of man that he is, what he means to us as an organization, what he means to us here in our clubhouse. I think it, like I said, it's just an absolutely phenomenal human being. A lot of great talent on this team. You talked about kind of moving things around. That's got to be fun and challenging at the same time. You get everybody enough reps. Oh, it definitely is. But at the same time, that's you know it's what we all signed up for. And when you have a lot of guys that you have a lot of talent, um, you know they show that they can you know earn the right to go out there and play. I think that's really where the balance kind of comes into play for us. And uh, you know being able to get them enough reps, but also making sure we're not burying them you know within the first month of the season. You know, it, it, you know we still have 130 what 134 games or 133 games still left to go so no math coach no math yeah <laughs> I know it, it's it's not my forte it should be but um yeah I still have a lot of games to go and just making sure that you know our guys are ready and prepared daily I meant for me no math for me oh. okay <laughs> I got you coach thank you so much for the time really appreciate it my pleasure thank you for having me thank you